Hey guys, uh, it's Gigi back with another video for Gigi TV. If you like these videos, you already know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. Why not? And hit that bell while you at it, girl. Um, so you can get notifications on future videos. Let's get started. So I wanted to do another get ready with me because guys, who watched uh, season eight, episode four on Sunday? For those of you that did and love Game of Thrones, just like me, why are they rushing this season? They're rushing it too much. Why didn't y'all just give us a full season? Like, why did y'all only give us six episodes? This is not our fault, HBO. Y'all could have given us at least 10. Anyway, it feels so rushed to me, especially this last episode, episode four. So let's talk about the first clip. Literally first minute of this episode, we see all of the dead from last episode, episode three. Why is Leanna Mormont like not shattered? You remember in the last episode, episode three, she became a White Walker. She was like, when Arya killed the Night King, they all shattered. So why is she whole? Tell me, HBO. How did that happen? There were so many bodies. Like, I knew a lot of people died. And we never really get a full look on how many people are left because that was a lot of dead people. There were piles on piles of dead people in there. So then they celebrate. And I seen a meme on Facebook, I think. There was a Starbucks cup when they're celebrating. Like in the shot with Daenerys. I don't know if that was real or not. Is that real? Y'all tell me. Cause I seen it and I laughed. That was hilarious. So that's another reason why I know it's rushed. HBO, you gotta step up your game. We had to wait two years for this. So anyway, so they celebrate together and you know it's a time to celebrate life and the victory that basically Arya Stark uh saved all y'all obviously Daenerys she does not like that Jon gets all of this attention in the north she's not used to that like she's either used to having to defend herself and kill somebody or she's used to people loving her like instantly so she's not used to the North. The North don't, the North don't mess with her. So she was looking mighty jealous and I felt for her. I was like, you know, at first it was kind of like off putting cause I was like, dang, she is so jealous. But then I was like, when you think about it, she has sacrificed two dragons for the North. John has the North like completely like, the North will fight and die for John. So she's kind of like, okay, I know the secret that we've been keeping. I feel like you're gonna steal my throne. She's been wronged in her life. Now, Arya, did y'all see when she uh, rejected um, Gendry? Mm, I'm not a lady. That was a one night stand, Gendry. We thought we was gonna die. I'm sorry. But he had, he's the Lord of, what is it, Storm, Storm, Born, uh, Storm something, Wind? I don't remember, but he's the Lord of it. Because Daenerys, she knows what she's doing. That's why John needs her though. John can't rule a whole seven kingdoms by himself. He's not that smart. He doesn't do the sneaky, you know, backstabbing stuff that, you know, politics are supposed to be doing. And if you hear kids in the background, don't mind them. He needs Danny and Danny needs him. Like in order for her to have full co uh, cooperation with the North, she would have to have John. Like they need to get married and solve the problem after killing Cersei and all of King's Landing. They need to just get married and solve the issues. That's the best option. She didn't want him to tell anybody. Obviously, he has to tell his sisters, well, his cousins, and uh, Bran, 
because he obviously ain't a Stark anymore. He's something else. But Why is he Brad helping? What is he there for? Like, basically, you came in here talking mess. You came in here stirring the pot, nope. telling secrets that nobody knew but you. Sitting back and watching, like, I don't understand. He's messy. When is he gonna help them? He needs to help. Again, guys, I can't find my tweezers anywhere. And obviously, I feel like I can find them. So I'm too, like, cheap and lazy to actually go buy another pair. But don't judge me, because I feel like I'm gonna find them eventually. So, on to other news. Brienne. Ooh, she got her sub. I wish she didn't love Jamie because Jamie obviously don't love her like that. Took her virginity knowing that she loves him. He's just gonna take advantage of her and she was drunk. I mean, obviously she wanted it. She'd been wanting that. But then you're gonna leave her. What is she pregnant now? She could be. Brienne should have known better. Jamie will never leave Cersei for good. Which that's kind of giving me an idea too that maybe he's gonna be the one to kill her. That would be like some poetic justice though. What do y'all think? Jamie, Arya, cause Arya and the Hound are on their way somewhere. We don't know where they're going, which is weird, but it kind of makes sense. And it's kind of beautiful that they would go off together. Uh, obviously Daenerys or the dragon. It has to be the dragon. Which the last one, the last one that's left alive now is Drogon. All his brothers are dead. That's what I'm just messed up about. But when they finally talk about it, when uh, Daenerys and Jon finally talk about it, she's like, you can't tell nobody. You've already bent the knee. You already loyal to me. Don't tell nobody. But nah, he had to open his big fat mouth. So, what eyeshadow will I use today? Do you have this ColourPop uh, palette that I could use? Golden State of Mind. Could use Mesmerize this time. Wet and Wild. John tells his sisters, Bran already knows because he ain't helping nobody, so he ain't gonna say nothing. Look how pigmented Mesmerized is. It's really pretty. What does that say? Oh, John tells his sisters and Bran who he is, or I mean, obviously he tells them they freaking cut off that part. Why do they keep cutting stuff? Chris Sansa can't hold a secret, so she tells Tyrion, and then it gets to Varys. I'm thinking about using this purplish color with this. Oh, I should have used that first. Ooh, I could put that as a topper. Cute, I'm gonna show y'all up close. It's changing lives over here, man. Changing eyelids. This one. Tyrion tells Varys, Varys, whatever, the, whatever his name is. And basically Tyrion is scared of Daenerys, which I get it. You should be scared, uh, Tyrion, because this is your third strike. You are out. She is not messing with you after this episode. Episode five, you might die. He's been messing up, making bad calls. I love Tyrion, but you keep, you know, keeping this hope alive for your sister. She's a lost cause, bruh. White Zinfandel, set her home, cheap. She might be lying, hell, about this baby. She might not even have a baby. Cause I did read online that Gilly Apparently she's pregnant. I guess I missed that part. I don't remember that part, but apparently Gilly's pregnant and she's already showing. Granted, she's a little bit bigger than Cersei is. She's bigger than Cersei, but still, we should see some kind of bump with those tight clothes on. Mm, I really hate this right here. So what I'm going to do is get this brush that I clean my eyebrows up with and kind of just go over that because it kind of got muddy, and I don't like that. Good as new. 
Now I'm gonna buff it out again. Let's talk about the poor dragons. Let's talk about that scene, first of all. How did they not see all of Euron's uh, ships? Hello? They couldn't see all them ships? With all them crossbows? Dragon killing crossbows? I don't get it. How could you, HBO? Highlight, baby, highlight. I love highlight. So he dies all dramatic and suddenly, and it's Euron who kills him. I am so sick of him. He is dirty looking and nasty and I don't like him. Where is my concealer? Why do people hide things from me? So Rhaegal dies and we're all devastated. I think he got hit like twice, right? And by now, Daenerys is livid. She's angry with everyone and she wants them all to burn. Then she flies off. They like destroy half their ships, all of this. I'm just wondering how they didn't see them. Now we know for sure that Daenerys is going to burn it to the ground and she should. Here we go with the microwaving. You know what I'm saying? Get in there. Microwave all the whole face. And cocaine is gonna drip from your face. So in the end, Tyrion thinks he's gonna change his sister's mind by going to her like, Danny, I'm gonna handle this. No, you ain't. Um, he goes over there trying to talk her into something. And he should have listened to the hand or whatever he is, that old man that is the hand to Cersei. He should have listened to him. She ain't trying to back down off nothing. She's not going to, okay? This is who she is, accept it and move on. He goes up to Cersei and is like, I know there's a good mother in you. Please don't do this, blah, blah, blah. She kind of lets out a tear a little bit, but it don't fall because she's heartless. And then she goes up to Masande and she's like, you might want to say some last words like right now, I'm gonna kill you. And what Masande says basically sets the premise for the next episode to me. Dracaris, like burn them, kill them all. You gotta make her last wishes come true. So I'm using, um, let me get onto this real quick because I want to share. Um, it's by Clinique. It is a loose powder blush, but it's going to get everywhere, but I really like it. Blooming Pink Glow Crazy Loose Powder by Clinique. Oh, it's so beautiful. Literally, all you need to do is like dip it once in there and then tap it off. And even if you get too much, just get your um, baking brush and just kind of, you know, go over it. Cause I did put a little bit too much on this side. There we go, I'm cute. Um, So yeah, she says Dracarys and immediately gets her head chopped off. Grey Worm, I'm sorry Grey Worm. The only black couple, mm, they can't even live their best life. Let's see what I'm gonna use for highlighting. I'm gonna use Twilight out of the Huda palette, which is this one, and it's like a iridescent, like, oh, beautiful. Um, so anyway, kills Masande, Grey Worm, Grey Worm is distraught. He done lost his beautiful girl that loved him no matter what he didn't have. Y'all are all dying. I'm just scared, I don't know. Who do y'all think's gonna win? I mean, she has a dragon, but obviously HBO don't care about our feelings, so they just killed the, uh, uh, they killed Rhaegal. So underneath, I think I'm gonna use a pop of color, just because I'm feeling, I'm feeling different. Mermaid Teal. I got this from a coworker. Thanks. I love that. Basically, I'm super cute right now. 
really what they need to do is get some armor, right? They need to protect Drogon. They need to get some Valyrian steel armor and protect our boy because he gonna die. Um, I am going to use Ulta Beauty's Baked Sculpt and Glow. Pretty nice. And I'm just gonna dab into this one. Oh my God. I am a highlighted queen. Basically, you can see me in the dark, like the pitch dark. All you can see is my cheekbones. Cute. So I think I'll do eyeliner with this look since I did not do that last time. I usually always wear eyeliner, but I be lazy sometimes. So I'm going to use Revlon. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Revlon. Um, Color Stay Liquid Liner. Done. Knowledge. <gasps> I hate when that happens. Well, that was easy. It's never been that easy ever. I am going to do lips next. What do y'all think? I think I'm gonna use these Revlons. So I have these two. There's kind of a pattern. I kind of like these colors a lot because I have those in the Maybelline Color Stay in which if you didn't watch that, Maybelline, um, not Color Stay, Maybelline, um, the Super Stay Matte Ink Lipsticks. If you didn't watch that review, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Hmm. Ooh, that one's cute. Or I'm kind of feeling this one. I'm gonna do this one. So let's light our lips. I do love NYX's um, lip liner, so you will see that a lot. This one is Sandstorm. It's kind of like a tannish brownish color. So who is ready for the next episode? I get so crunk when I hear um, that theme song come on. So I am going to use Revlon's Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade. Kisses. Mm, that's cute. I think this is my first time using this color. These lipsticks are so soft on the lips. Someone is at my door. Give me a second. My sister-in-law just came to pick up these, uh, both the gremlins, all the kids. <laughs> right. She loves the kids. We gonna continue drinking um, after this. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit it. Hit it and hit that bell because you need to be notified, all right? You can ring my 